Okay, welcome to this channel. It's called Botvidsson. That's my last name and impossible to pronounce, of course, because it's Swedish. This channel is all about photography. I mean, studio, products, still life, and you can learn crazy stuff here. So you better keep watching. And one more thing, you need to subscribe to the channel. Except all you other 17,000 subscribers. I know you hanging in there. What are we going to shoot today? Super simple, as you saw in the thumbnail, this Philips trimmer. Trimmer. So this is what we're shooting today. And we're doing it with only one flash. Is this on? On. Master. This is this old remote, air remote. And I, I cannot find the new one, modeling light. Okay. There we go. This is the reason why it was a bit dark in the beginning, because I need to expose for this, because I need to have this on full whack, because I will use the guide light when i building up the different light sources. I need to see what I'm doing, so that's why it's so powerful. So I'm on this side. And thanks, coffee supporters. You know who you are. So, how to start? Well, I have this small camera also here. There is the, the machine. Let's shut off this flash, because this is the only flash we're using. And let's take the first shot, blue screen, perfect. Because I'm saying this every time, but it's so important, you know. You need to have, a, this indicates that it's black, you know. If I turn off, off this warning in Capture One Pro, it's completely black. And now we can start to build up this uh, photograph. So I will turn on the, the flash again. What's going on here? Well, this is a kitchen worktop and it's around 40 euros, dollars, pounds. Gray, I think it's called Ekbacken. I'm not 100% sure. And then we have, what do we have? We have the uh, Canon 5D Mark IV, the cable goes into the computer and we're shooting into Capture One, Tethered, so the images will go into the computer. Today I have an 85mm lens, 1.2 Canon, and um, did I say it's a 5D Mark IV? Yes. And on this side, this is a Pro Photo Flash, it's a D2, and I put on a huge um, strip light, one by six, and it shoots into this diffusion from Savage, Translum, Medium, and um, it shoots on this little guy. So let's take the first shot. What do we get? We get this. Beautiful from the start. Let me talk a bit about aperture right now. We have we're shooting in manual mode as always. This camera, maximum uh, shutter, sync speed, flash, sync, flash. Sync shutter. And then I put up to ISO 200 and at aperture 16. Aperture 16. Why did I choose this? Because this, this is the only thing you are choosing when you're shooting stuff, you know. This is how, when you decide how much sharpness you like to have in the picture. I mean, not how sharp the image should be, also actually a bit, but I mean, from the... Let me demonstrate this. Let me set the aperture, the biggest aperture, 1.2 of this camera. If I push now, the flash power will be too powerful, of course. A bit blown out. That means we need to take down the, the power. Yes, now we are down to 1.2 and do you see the difference this kitchen worktop it's totally blurry it looks almost unreal and now i set the focus i think the focus looks like it's here on the power button so that actually makes philips logo blurry and immediately it start to blur everything 
that is closer to the background. So if we go back to F16, then we get so much more sharpness in the image. I think this looks a bit too strange a bit. Uh, so that's why I choose F16, because I want this, the, the, the kitchen, the kitchen worktop as sharp as possible. The strip box. I'm placing it so it's shooting straight on this product. Or well, actually, it shoots a bit in front, so that's why this part becomes a bit dark on this side. It touching this and this, all these bright areas is touched, and this side is becoming a bit dark. This is also totally dark, and it hits here. And uh, why do I have this savage? Is it really necessary? Um, the only reason why I have this, there is two reasons actually. It's like curved, you see on this camera maybe. It's like curved, so it creates like, if you look at the picture, it's uh, almost like a vignette, because otherwise it will be bright to dark. I want it to be dark on this side a bit. So that's why I'm angling it out. It creates a more evenly lit background. By the way, this background, this is, is it Savage? No, it's the other brand. Cal Calorama, Calorama, not Savage, the other one, the other brand. And it's mineral gray. I just bought this. I think it's nice, a bit colder, a bit darker than normal gray. And the other reason, what is the other reason? Well, I forgot. What was the other reason? Yes, the other reason is, if you look at the picture, you see this, the power button. If I do not have this translum in front of the, this would have had like a straight edge. Yes, you see here. This is how it looks with only the softbox. All the shiny areas, it's this part is shiny, then it becomes like a hard edge. And also here, this is just a reflection of the softbox. And I don't think it looked that nice and it's not that important to show that this button is shiny. So that's the only reason. A bit darker background and soften up the shiny parts. So, what's next? Well, this side is a bit dark, so I think we should put up a I will place it here somewhere. And I will look in the camera angle and see where it can be placed and look nice. I'm just looking maybe around there. Let's take a shot and see what it does. Yes, I love this, that it's a dark edge, see, before and after. And I placed it here so it will, uh, from this side, I mean, from this to this, this is the reflection from the strip box in, onto this foam board and into this area. And here we get a nice gradient, and this is super nice gradient, gradient, and this texture comes out very beautiful. This grip, uh, what do we get more? We get a bit light here, not that much, but tiny bit. The goal here, is to make this object three-dimensional, so it's not super flat. And I think we, right now, it looks very three-dimensional. And we have very nice gradients all over the product. But is this it? I wish we didn't see this. I moved the foam board a bit. Yeah, it's okay. We could stop here. 
course, very beautiful, but I would like to do one more thing. I wish that the left side would have would be a bit darker. I would like it to have this a dark rim like the like the uh, right side. So let's do that with a black foam board. Maybe this will be too much. Yes, but it's like super nice with this sharp dark line there. It's the same as on this side. Cheat a bit in Photoshop. What I think we also should do, we should brighten up some parts. And where, where is my, I need, cause this light's very far away. Cause today we only work with one flash. So it tr need to travel also through this diffusion. And if we should bounce back some light, it's not enough with, especially on the dark parts, if we would like to brighten them up, it's not enough with the white foam board. Then we need a mirror. But the question is, where is the mirror? Maybe I can... Here's a mirror. See? Reflecting. Made in China. Perfect. So this we can use. So I will again see if I can reflect some nice light, maybe on the top. I'm just testing out to see if something is happening here. Ah, there is something going on. Ah, maybe this one. Look at that. All this getting a very nice rim on the top. Thank you, China. I think this will look awesome. Is there something more we can do? I think the top, the black top there is a bit dark. Maybe it's possible to get a bit light on the side somehow. Just need to find the right angle. Maybe something like this. How about that one? What I'm doing now, this one. This is what this knife reflects bouncing from this boom boom and into this because before it's completely dark so it can be nice to have a bit there yes let's let's keep that one now we have the main one we also have the black rim on the left side and one from the top like rims on all this on the top area and also one bonus i might use on this black shiny side. Shiny, shiny, shiny stuff. And you know, th that's it. You know, one light coming from the side, taking care of almost everything in the image. And then we just add a bit, brighten up stuff. The main is this foam board to get a bit brightness on the on the left side there, on, on the right side, I mean. So guys, that's it for today. Very simple, but a very important one, I would say, cause you need to build up, taking care of all the areas in the image, you know. You cannot leave anything. You should go through the whole product and see where can I improve? Where can I create a gradient? Where can I, make it more three-dimensional, you know. Okay, thanks again, and please subscribe if you find this useful. And as always, guys, see you next time.